Hey, Ivan and Nick here. You're Ivan. You're Nick. And we're here to wash a car. Now, it's a DIY detailing channel. We detail cars. This video is on washing in a drought. So I live in Salt Lake City, Utah, where the Great Salt Lake is at the lowest level it's ever been. Exactly. So we know the drought is here. There are water restrictions on watering your lawn, and there are places where you cannot bring a hose out to wash your car. No. So today, we're going to wash this Lexus with one gallon of water. One gallon. One gallon. We didn't have a gallon jug with us, but we do have this IK sprayer that is marked off at the one gallon level. Yep, the gallon is on US gallon. It's right here at one. That is literally one gallon of water. So we have a bucket. What's inside of there, Ivan? We have our wash sponge and nothing else. Now you're gonna be adding one capful, not a lot, just one capful of the rinse -less wash. Does having such limited amount of water mean that we should over dilute this or should we keep it at the standard dilution of one capful per one gallon of water? Exactly. So 256 to one is the ratio. That's what we're keeping you at. For those with the metric system, it's four milliliters to a liter. One so, capful. One capful. In we go. We'll mix it in. Now this sponge is really cool. It has two different sides to it. Yeah. We have our more of a scrubbing side, the red, and the, the light side, the black. Now, we are going to pre-spray the car because it does actually have accumulated dirt on it. To do so, we're going to use an IK sprayer, and the sprayer is empty. There's nothing in it. So we'll just take a bit of our solution here. We don't need a lot. And we're going to pre-spray this side of the car. Now, so we still have this much water inside of there. Yeah. And we're gonna be doing the whole car. Normally in a video, we just do the side that you see, but we're actually gonna be washing the whole car, so bear with us here. This is a convenient time to explain as you spray, what is a rinseless wash, and why does this work to not scratch your paint? So the rinseless wash, as we're spraying it on, it's encapsulating the dirt and emulsifying it. So taking it off the surface, breaking it into smaller and smaller chunks, so we're able to do that. So here we go. And again, we don't need a lot here. We just need to get the surface wet. We are gonna be doing the wheels. And there are areas in the world where it's actually illegal to wash your car at home in the driveway. A little more air. You don't need to use one of these fancy sprayers, and we even have a bird bomb on this car. So, we've exhausted our IK sprayer here. There might be a few drops left in the bottom. Can't waste anything. No, don't want to waste anything. Okay, so we want our DIY detail wash sponge. Um, on the verge of dripping here. We always want to work top to bottom because the bottom panels are going to be the dirtiest. So, we want to get the top first. Want to get the top first? I'm using a proper ladder to do so, not climbing all over the vehicle. And with the rinseless, we're applying it to the surface. So there's no need to rub back and forth to scrub. We're literally just applying it. Now, if you're working outside in the sun, you can do it section by section. So you can actually do the roof, dry it, and you're done. And in our case, I don't be, want to be climbing up and down on the ladder all the time. So I will actually grab the drying towel, if you can get that for me. Yes, sir. And we'll have the top done. We don't need to revisit it again. So we have ceramic gloss and drying towel and just a couple sprays on here. That's all I need. I'll dry this half off and then we'll move to the other side to do the other half. So we've done the other side. It's actually dry, a little shark fin cleaned here. Am I good to do this here? Yes, sir. Or do you want to go solo? But you can do it. Okay. You can't have all the fun. Oh no, don't worry. I'm saving the wheels for you. <laughs> so now the roof is done, it's dried. We can do the lower parts of the car and put the ladder away. So to speed this process up, I'm gonna wash Nick's gonna dry using ceramic gloss. My favorite a, product. As a drying aid. And here we go. 
So the roof is already done. We don't need to be climbing over the vehicle anymore. We do one panel. I'm gonna take advantage of a wet panel because of the lubrication provided by the rinseless wash. So actually having two people here is pretty awesome. Yeah. And if you're doing this yourself at home, it's as simple as doing one panel at a time. Lightweight with the drawing, letting the ceramic gloss provide lubrication. Are we working dirt back into the surface? Can you explain how this sponge safely is helping you wash the car? So the sponge is actually absorbing the dirt as it's going, lifting it in and putting it into the sponge. And we'll see it, we've got the bird dropping over there. When we get to the bird dropping, you'll see exactly how the sponge actually brings it in to the sponge. And working from the top down also means we'll be doing the dirtiest parts of the car last, which is normally front bumper and back bumper. And you'll notice I'm moving the bucket with me. That way, I'm not walking back and forth, not getting out of breath, not uh, wasting time. We'll get in behind the door pocket there. Here's that bird bomb we talked about, and we pre-sprayed it with the IK sprayer. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit more on there. Do my window. I'll do the rest of the door and come back to that. So just let me get the rest of the door here. And now I'm going to gently just dab it off. There we go, it's gone. I didn't use any pressure, I didn't push on it, and you can see how it's actually worked into the folds of the sponge here. And when we put it in the water, in the rinseless wash, we come back out, there's no more bird bomb on the sponge. Now one big advantage of a rinseless wash is when you're done washing, the mirror is not going to be dripping on us. That's like a super underrated reason why rinseless washing is great, because if you use a foam cannon and a pressure washer, and it's so much fun. You're gonna be dripping for, what, 30 minutes? Oh, 30 days, no. <laughs> it just feels like it never stops, and you, yeah. you just mop it up with the towel, and then you drive away, and you go inside, and you come out at night, and drip marks. Yep. And by the time we're halfway through the vehicle, you've got a lot of ceramic gloss on your towel anyway, so you really don't need it as much as a drying aid in terms of a pre-spray and this way you're maximizing the usage of your product. So instead of four sprays on the panel before, maybe I just get one right there and just kind of work that in like so. Now the front bumper, this is a detailed area. So that's where the point and the sponge comes in handy. Get into different areas here. So the cut sections of the sponge actually allow it to get in there and get as deep as possible into the grill area. So we're actually cleaning it quite well. Finally, the last part of the car, the dirtiest part on average, which is our back end. Since there was quite an accumulation on here, I dipped my sponge halfway through. Look at the bottom part of the bumper, and then we're off to the wheel. So we still have half a gallon left. All the paint is done, we just have the wheels to do now. I don't mean to be a hater. No. But I'm always gonna ask the questions. Look at this water. Are you telling me that that was healthy for this car's paint? It, actu it actually is. Because I'm looking at that water and it kind of scares me. Kind of scares you, but look at it this way. The paint doesn't care. What we have here is emulsified dirt. It's broken down and it's surrounded by polymers. So it's not dangerous, it's not there. And all the bigger chunks are actually broken down and a little small. So it's more like a dye than it is dirt in the bucket. Now yes, there will be some bigger grit that's in the bottom. Normally we would have a grit guard in the bottom of the bucket, but we're trying to show how to do it with one gallon of water. DIY friendly. You're yeah. out here on these streets trying to make your car shine. Minimal, I love it. So we're using a, a wheel and body brush, which is a flag tip nylon brush, extremely safe. Making sure to work methodically around the wheel. So one, one spoke at a time. But Ivan, you're scratching my rim face. No, I'm not. We pre-sprayed with a rinseless. Yes, it dried on here, but it did its job. I know, I'm just saying that's what people like to say. Oh, I know. 
And, you know, while you're writing the nasty comments to us, give us a thumbs up at the same time. As you can see here, I've got the towel. It's already soaked with ceramic gloss. So we've got one towel, one wash sponge, one gallon of water, and then just two products, uh, ceramic gloss and rinseless wash. And um, I think it's a fantastic way to do this. I was a little doubting that it could be done, but uh, it's actually turning out great. We're done. We've washed the car with half a gallon of water. We still have half a gallon left. Now, would I use this water again? Probably not. But it's there. We, like I said, only used half a gallon of water. There are municipalities that are shutting down car washes. They're shutting down car washes. You can't wash at home. There's water restrictions, all sorts of stuff. Doesn't mean you can't drive a clean car. Absolutely. This Lexus looks awesome. It was honestly a surprise to me that we did this. And man, if you like this at home, if you have criticisms, comments, questions, we will answer them. That's yeah. part of this discussion. We want to answer your questions or Nick at DIYDetail.com. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next one.